wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. Yeah, we 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 um, we modeling this morning. Amen. Amen. Look at the the gear. This is just a sample of what you can get in your own area. You can get it matching. You can get it individually. Put your own church logo on there. See, this is bling here. Yep, you get the same thing. I got to move this over a little bit. I didn't have my, my, normally I was rushing, but anyway, I need to move that over a little bit. But yes, you can get your personalized mask or you can get them blank too, sent out to you at any time. Amen. God bless you. I hope you guys like the new logo, the new setup. It's looking, I like it. Amen. Well, we ain't going to teach with this. Amen. Well, good morning, family. No. That you are loved, honored, and appreciated. Yes, get your matching gear. The whole package. Get in touch with me. Tell you how you can get the hat, the shirt, and the mask all together with your logo or our logo on it uh, uh, for a very reasonable price. Amen. But good morning. God bless you guys. Uh, wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose this morning. Um, thank God we're here. We're here. We're here. We, what can we say? It's another day. For us to push harder <laughs> it's another day for us to see and, and recognize the things that are going on and and i'm praying that all is well with you and your family um a couple young ladies that you, you know you know when 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 it's not when, when you don't how can i put it when you find out somebody that you know has it um it's it's closer <laughs> you know right there see the side night somebody you know we've been praying for this young lady all night uh, that, that her fever has broken and that she uh, was in the beginning stages but now are in the recovery stages uh, we're believing God for that miracle right now in the name of Jesus and uh, um, and I know that Becky's gonna be awesome in God amen because of the fervent effectual prayers of the righteous that availeth much in her life because we pray for her and believe for her amen God bless you guys this morning yes this is wake up in your mind get up in your thinking Moving your purpose. I'm not going to wait to oil up <laughs> it, this time. I'm going to go ahead and get, get my oil on because I, I had got going last time, remember? And it almost fell out. So I'm going to take my run right now in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> amen. Amen. Mr. Shannon, uh, tag Minister Terry. Uh, sometimes her, her, her device will not let her link in. Please uh, tag her. For me, uh, I'd appreciate that. But uh, but family, God bless you guys. Now remember when we left off Monday, we were we were talking about. Remember that there is a requirement before you get the actual instruction. We were talking about you know uh, go, going after Christ on Monday. We were really looking at the in depth part of going after Him because going after Him means that we have to know who He is. Good morning, family. Uh, going after him no means we got to study him going after him means we got to start being like him remember we even we, we referenced john 14 and 12 it says that that if you believe in me and in, in, in the in the works that i do then you may do also and he says even greater works when you do we went a little bit farther and seeing that 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 if you ask anything if you move into the realm of knowing the will of god and asking he will give what you ask, but you know you have a helper left that you can get through these times, that you can be strong when it's difficult and when you can say yes when it looks no, when you can get up when it says down, when you can keep pushing and keep going forward to become a child of God. Oh yeah, we, 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 we looked at those areas, but then we had to go back. Remember, before we left on, on Monday, we had to go back and look at the sacrifice. How would it cost? A lot of people think going after him is just these three principles of, 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 of denying self da uh, daily, taking up your cross daily, and following him daily. No, no. Going after him knows what the cost is. See, we skip, we skip over uh, uh, 22 when, when he says, uh, it, it, this is uh, Luke 9, Luke chapter 9. We're back there. Luke chapter 9, verse uh, 22. It says, saying, the son of man must suffer many things. For you to be Christ-like, you know you're going to suffer many things. James made it very clear when he finally got it, he understood where his strength lay. He says, he says, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. My God, 
It's many things to come. Don't get it twisted that this is just one little situation that we're going through. Because if you see the word of God coming to fruition, you see times are changing. And you see that the day of the Lord is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. When? Now. And you and I, we have to start acting like it. We have to start understanding that if the son of man must suffer many things and I'm going after the son of man, what's the number one thing I'm going to have to do? Suffer many things. If somebody gave you the patty cake and the, and the, and the all good version about being a believer, then I'm going to probably rebuke that saying, not the person, but the saying to tell you that, no, this is not a cakewalk. This is not an easy thing to say I'm going after Christ. This is just not something you just say. This is something you must do. Something you must put into action. Something that you must make work in your life. And you have to make it work in your life right now. <laughs> well, okay, I'm sorry. Let me talk to me. I have to make it work in my life right now. And I have to keep making it work. Because he says then, he says, and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. See, we don't think that's one of our requirements because this is resurrection week. And if you are preparing yourself for your self resurrection, you got some of y'all didn't heard some of my, my, my uh, resurrection sermons. It's all about you dying on the cross. No, it's all about you going on the road to the cross. It's all about you getting on the cross. It's about you dying to the cross and watch this being buried off the cross and getting up. <laughs> this is my season to get up. My God, good morning, family. This is my season to wake myself up and say, let me get it together. I'm not perfect, but I'm not going to throw myself away and I'm not going to throw you away. If you guys know one thing about me, it's the one thing that I'm going to always stand on. Everybody still has a chance, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you, you got this much time. I'm not going to let nobody else tell you that you got a day, an a, a hour. You got right now. You got right now. You got right now. What? He says, must suffer. Many things. Oh. We whine and cry so fast, so easy, but we are, see, we don't really get into this word and go that deep in it, where it really calls you out and say, are you ready to suffer for the, what, no, 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 not for you. Are you ready to suffer for Christ? Because you said, I'm going after him. I'm following him. Do you, are you ready to, to oh my God. This is really kind of, it really kind of just hits me in my spirit, make me just laugh and say, and we tripping on this. When it says, if he suffered many things, how many things will you suffer if you're going after him? If you're denying yourself, if you're taking up your cross daily and you're following, you're going to suffer some things too, family. I'm not the bearer of bad news. I'm, not, I'm actually here to give you some good news. Uh-huh, because see, you don't suffer for yourself, you suffer for him. <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this. And be killed and raised the third day. See, this is my season to be raised for all of the imperfections. Yep, I'm calling out myself. I got my own list. This is when I'm about to die to myself. Now, we're supposed to do this daily. Some of y'all missed it. Here, let me give y'all a preview. <laughs> Man, uh, some of y'all missed it. I don't feel like putting it back on, but some of y'all missed it. We're going to show you at the end. You can get your matching set <laughs> online and shipped to you today. But watch this. We miss it because of the cost that was paid. We think we get a free ride instead of knowing that it's a cost to be paid. <laughs> Go to Matthew 10. Oh my God. My God, my God, my God, my God. Matthew 10. No, is it? No, no. Yeah, Matthew 10, not Mark 10. I'm tripping. I'm looking at something else. I was on an intense study this morning, and, and, and 
Matthew 10, but I had a marker on Mark 10, and I know I was teaching in Mark 11, but then it says, in Mark 10, 38, it said, but Jesus said to them, you do not know what you ask. Can you drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? Now, look, I'm telling you, I just flipped there and I was, I'm going to Matthew 10. But here in Matt, Mark 10, he said, but Jesus said to them. And this is for any of you out there that are, are seeing how to be great in God is not for you, but it's for God to become greater in the essence of others through you. Watch this. You do not know what you ask. To say, I believe. Or Lord, forgive me. You don't know what you ask. Because he says, you don't know what you ask. Can you drink the cup that I drink? Do you know the cup that he drank for you? Let me get a close and personal with you. Do you know the cup that he drank for you? He drank the cup of sin for you and for I. That we could be, watch this. Covered by that new covenant. I know you remember the old covenant when, 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 when by disease, when God dropped disease and death on Egypt, we were released. We were released into freedom from captivity. And we were covered by the blood of the lamb. Even then, the new covenant. That now we would be in a land of milk and honey. And there were so many promises for us. This is the first covenant. This is the first covenant. When he brought man out of their own sin. Because they chose to follow the, the Egyptians. They chose to turn their, their face away from God. They chose to eat off the fat of the land. And then it got flipped around on them. Then they became workers. Then they became slaves. And then they became in bondage. My God. But he showed up. My Jesus and he give them a covering to the new covenant for a new land and a new place. Oh, see, some of them didn't make it. Some of them didn't make it because they still had their own ways. Some of them didn't make it because they kept on serving the old ways. Some of them didn't make it because they kept preaching the same sermons. Some of them didn't make it because they kept doing the same old, same old thing. But God, mm, for all of their unrighteousness came again. Jesus. Not this time to take them out of captivity of man, but take them out of captivity of sin. And in this new covenant, old called Jesus, he came to be the bridge for you and I to have a personal relationship with God. That cup that he drank that day made it all possible. Do you know the cup that he drank for you? If you don't, you need to find out. He says, and be baptized with the baptism Jesus, that I am baptized with. No, you got dipped in some water. He got dipped in some sin. He got dipped in some in some in some unrighteousness. He got dipped. He got dipped. But when he got dipped, he got he broke the chain of the old veil that gave Satan dominion. Oh yes. Oh, this gonna help. This gonna help somebody today. He broke the veil that day that will never keep you bound to sin ever again. You now had a choice to make. To whom will you serve? Will you serve the cup that has been uh, drunk for you? Will you serve the baptism that has been given to you? Will you serve today? My God, I serve. And I'm going to serve good. Because I know the, the sacrifice that was made for me. You don't have to give me another story or a recap. I know the cost that was paid. I know the cup that he drank from. I know the baptism that he was a part of. But now it's my turn. Oh, can I get about five people out there to run around and say, it's my turn. Oh, yeah, you ain't got to worry about your boss. You ain't got to worry about your job. You ain't working at home today. Run around and say, ah, it's my job to take up my cross. For me to go through this thing so I really know how to tell somebody how they must die. Now, not, not at the funeral time. No, right now. That you got to take that 720 degree turn. 360 from yourself and 360 to God. Simultaneously. Taking you to another level, another dimension, another place. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your job. Come on, it's my turn. 
Thank you, Minister Charlene. I already know you running around. It's my turn. When are we going to finally say it's my turn to pay the cost? When are we going to finally say it's my turn to get on the cross? When are we going to take up our... I'm running right now. I, can't, I had to shut my mouth because I'm running. It's my turn. Are you willing to take your turn? Uh, don't think that my turn takes it up for the world. Oh, no, it'll never be a sacrifice like that. It's time for all of us to come on in and let's sacrifice because it's our turn to turn this thing around. It's, 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 it's well, it's my turn. <laughs> and I, I know, I see y'all out there agreeing, but it's my turn. We should be fighting for turns right now. <laughs> We should be fighting for turn. It's my turn to show that he lives. It's my turn to stand up and stop and stop uh, 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 quitting. It's my turn to push somebody else. It's my turn to encourage you better than you've ever been encouraged. It's my turn. Watch what you ask for. He says, do you, you do not know. He didn't ask you, do you know? He said, you do not know. Good. This, that's a good thing about not knowing. Because see, if you ask, you, oh, that caught you, huh? If you ask, you will receive. If you knock, all doors are open. <laughs> My, if you seek, you will find. So if you put it into motion, if you put it into action, it's your turn. To do something that's never, ever, ever been done before. It's your turn. I don't care how little or how insignificant you think you are. You are God's greatest miracle. You are more important than I am. For you and your relationship with him. Because <laughs> see, what I have with God is what I have with God. What you have with God must be what you have for God. He says, you do not know what I ask, what you ask. Can you drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they say to him, yeah, we can. And Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink the cup that I drink and be baptized. And, and with the baptism, I am baptized with you will be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared. Let me tell you. You're going to have to be ready to go. If you're not learning right now, you don't have to leave your house to go. Uh-uh. No, they're showing us right now. We can get some things, we can get some things done without leaving your home. <laughs> just tell you this whole world is this, this whole, let's just talk about our nation. This whole world and this whole nation is changing right now. And they're going to do it in less than six months. And they're going to show you how they critique things and, and control things. And we're going to still have to vote in November. Yes, they ain't gonna, that's the one thing they ain't going to cancel. There ain't going to be no layover. There ain't going to be no redo. No, they're going to do that whether it's by uh, 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 blind ballots, people knocking on your door, uh, on the Internet. They're going to do that. But watch what's happening. Are you ready? Do you know what you ask? Come, Lord. Do you know what you ask? You better watch what you ask for because when it happens, now you got to step it up and say, you know what? I really meant that. Yep, yep, I meant that. I meant that. I meant that. I, I'm truly, I'm truly a believer and I believe that the word of God is coming to fruition now in my season. We, you know, some people say, I never, it won't be me, it won't be me. Well, we seeing it. I remember my parents, as they raised me, used to say, I, I, you don't know to be my time. It might be your time. Look, if we ain't seeing more than they see, it's our time. But then some things was happening back then that were crucial. But never nothing like this. Woo! Now is the time that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. <laughs> Repent, my God. If you ask, he shall forgive. He said he is faithful and just to forgive. All you got to do is say, I repent. It's my turn to repent. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's my turn to repent. 
It's my turn to get it right. It's my turn to stop making excuses. It's my turn to stop blaming. It's my turn to get it right. And I take my turn right now. <laughs> my turn. My God, my God. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. I was going to read the whole thing, but but I, I want to I want to go to 20 verse 22, chapter 10, verse 22. Read the whole chapter. It's a dynamic teaching in here to knowing in this in, in this preparation time that it was way before it was it was way before chapter chapter 28 in Matthew that got that Jesus was telling us to get ready you see even in Luke it was in chapter 9 and he was giving us the instructions and stuff like that but watch what he says in 22 he says and you will be hated by all for my name's sake but he who endures to the end will be saved but when they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For surely I say to you, you will not have gone through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. Let me tell you, you better keep it moving. Uh-uh, don't get settled down like that. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about your mortgage in your house. Some of us look at the things that we physically have to be a part of. You have to have a roof over your head. You have to have a job. You have to make income, okay? But the cities that we lie in, sometimes a city that they call lying. Some of them cities are called cheating. Some of them cities are called uh, uh, stealing. And it all, you put your own names on the cities that some of us are visiting. Even right now, you can't leave your home, but, but, but it's, not, it's not what you do, it's what you are doing. And it's not what people see on the outside, but what's on the inside. Where's your mind at? What are you dwelling on? What are you missing the most? What, what, what is the most important thing that, 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 that you're desiring? Remember I said the other day that if you have a desire and it's not the desire to have more God, you're going to have the desire that you're running after. But who have you chosen and what are you actually at going after? I mean, can, can, you, can, you, can, you, can you know that there is a cost and don't think that just because they say they like you, Mean they do all. He says all will hate you for his sake. It might be somebody that you, just looks like you doing more, and you you just doing what you do. See, it really showing me that that even in the house we be having problems with each other and don't have enough honesty to say, you know what, I got to get better at that. We here. Let me be honest with you, because at one point in my ministry back in the day when I was serving both. I had more doors open. I had more opportunities. I had more people following me. I had more people calling my number. More people wanted to hear me sing. More people wanted to hear me preach. More people wanted to see me do conferences. I had them ringing all across the country when I was living both lives. Because it's a certain thing you ain't going to talk about when you live in that life. Oh, my God. But when you get your life in order, your whole message changed. And now people don't want to hear the truth because the truth hurts and if the truth hurts, it will set you free when you accept the truth and fix the truth. <laughs> I have to fix me. How do I fix me? Thank you, Minister Terry, by killing my flesh. And knowing that I'm going after him. And in going after him, I'm denying myself. And when I deny myself, I'm taking up my cross when? Now. And I'm following. Now, now guess what? You need your own system now to get in the car, put the key in the ignition. Oh, no, start it up and put it in drive and smash the gas. See, some of us have got the car and you put the key in the ignition, start it up, smash the gas, but you never put it in drive. Today is your put it in drive day. I got to run on that one. I got to run on that one. I got to run on that one. Today is your get out of neutral, get out of park. Some of y'all switch it down into neutral. Smash the gas. Oh, today is to put it all the way in drive. 
to engage. Today is engagement day. Today is put it in motion day. All this stuff you've been working on, all this stuff you've been building up, put it to work now. Hey, God, that out about my shanda by the name of Jesus. Because you know, you are a part of the anyone crowd. The anyone crowd makes you a disciple. The anyone crowd makes you a, 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 an apostle. The anyone crowd makes you whoever you are if you're doing the work of the call. So come on in and do the work. It's my turn. It's my turn, but go over to uh, verse 37. Flip over to verse 37. For y'all that missed it, because I know some of y'all get on and get off. You get your match and set. <laughs> oh my God, you get your match and set today. Amen. Go over to verse 37. He says, now we're talking about Remember, remember uh, uh, as we left off and now we're seeing now, we, we, we are now here understanding the cost before the assignment. Because you have to know that it's going to cost you something. And a lot of people have not been putting the cost in. They just been saying, do this, do this, do this. And then when you get them, when all this stuff happens, you'd be like, well, you didn't tell me it was going to get bad like that. Well, I'm going to keep it real with you and tell you that when you start believing, really believing in God, all hell breaks loose because he got a reason to try to distract you now. He, he, has a, he has a reason to try to uh, defeat, de defeat you now. Uh, as long as you're doing you, you're killing yourself. As long as you, 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 you're doing self, uh, you, you are, you are self-destructing uh, yourself when you live in, your, in yourself. But when you start really living for God, now there's a bullseye on your head. He got a reason to come and try to take you out. So you got to know that there's a cost to going after him. And here's the cost. Watch this. Verse 37, he who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Oh, hit it right there. Stop it right there. Stop it right there. I have mentors. You guys heard me say this before. But I very seldom ever get into ministry talking about I have a father in the ministry or I'm his son in the ministry. I think, I think I made that mistake early on in my ministry when I was doing both things. Doors were opening and I was having a lot more, a lot more access, a lot more preaching engagements. But we start to then treat them as close to God. I know we know they ain't God because we can touch them and feel them, but some of us start treating them like they're God. Mm -mm, no. And we think it's about their mother and father that raised us or that, that birthed us or didn't raise us or let us or gave us away or anything like that. No, uh -uh, no, no, no. This has nothing to do with flesh. Now, if I can say one thing to anybody out there today about family is don't let nothing separate you being part of a family. It's, it, 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 I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just starting to experience some new things in my life. It, it, it's, a, it's even amazing. I see it getting up more amazing. But a lot of times we let anger and we let that old past and why not me and all that. Well, you know what? It is what it is. And this goes about anything we're dealing with right now. It is what it is. We are in the situation we are in. I'm going to tell you, the Holy Ghost is moving around here because the, 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 the uh, pigeons uh, uh, the, the pigeons, the, the cats and dogs been all up and down in front of the office this morning. The worship music was blasting. I'm singing on the mic. And now the word is going forward and you see the anointing that is flowing. But we have to be very careful on how we honor people instead of how we respect. We should respect each other as equals. And we should respect each other's gift and portion of faith and each other's function and each other's everything else. But that should not be why I serve God because I serve through you. Uh -uh, watch this. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Let me tell you this right now. If it's anything that would make it look like that I love them more than I have, I'm, I, I, you, I'll, cut, I'll cut ties right away. Y'all know it. I will I will, I will end, uh, uh, no, 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 no. When I start doing stuff that's making like I love you more than I love God, guess what? I got to fix me. 
I got to fix me. And you got to understand, I don't care what they think you think they can do for you. I don't think what doors you have that they have for you. Uh-uh. Get your own doors. Get your own dream. Get your own vision. Yes. It's time for you to wake up in this season. Oh, y'all out there that's sitting around, some of y'all listening to me, they'll be like, man, I wish I was off on these times. Well, you're off now listening to me. You need to break some ties of being under something instead of being with something. It's time for us to all line up together and know you you can't do what I do and I can't do what you do, but we can sure do some things together because if I fit in my spot and you fit in your spot, come on, and you in your spot, and you in your spot, we all lined up. Don't you know we can take over some things? Don't you know that we can really cover some things? Don't you know that we can be in position? Get in your own lane and let's move. If you, if he who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And who, he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So let's just get it all plain and simple. Anything that we can put ahead of God takes away your worthiness to having a relationship with him. Uh -uh, I'm not going to let you do that with me. No. And don't let me be. Please, Lord, don't ever let it be said that I was the reason that you did not have a personal relationship with him because you love me more than you love him. I will. Please, we will stop talking today. If I ever find out that you got more love than me for me than you do for God, you, you come into this broadcast loving on a pastor E, go, we're going to both die. <laughs> but me and my people. We shall live and not die. That we shall live and not die. That's, that's my next little saying for the next two months. Is that we will live and not die. You know why? Because I don't care nothing about you and you sure don't care nothing about me. It's because we care about him. My God. That we see the results of him right now. That I don't let you fall. I don't let you go. I don't let her be lost. We still out there looking for it. Did you find your granddaughter? We didn't talk, but... I know you, I know she been found. Because we will live and not die. I prophetically speak it right now. I decree it and I declare, oh my God, I'm running with you. I decree it and declare it right now in the name of Jesus that we will live and not die. You know why? Because we don't love more than loving him. Uh -uh, I'm running some more. <laughs> Anything that will separate me from loving him, got to go. I, I dare, I dare some of y'all to say that out loud right now. Anything that separates me from God, you got to go. Say that with some fire right now. Let it burn all up over the city. Anything out there that is separating me from the word of God, you must go. It's my turn. Where my mic at? I, I turned it off. Y'all lucky. Gotta go. You if, you, if you, if you are holding me back, if you are shutting me down, if you are discouraging me. If you are not lifting me up, if you are not supporting me, you must go because I will live. I will not die. Here, get, get a little. Get, here, here, here you go. Get some of this on. Get, get some of this. 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 My God. Woo, Jesus. I feel a lifting. Just through this whole network and this whole covenant of us. I feel a lifting right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. My God. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy. Did you see how he began with love first? It all begins and ends with love. Watch it. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. But watch how he started with love. And then went to what is, what is your actions like? Because see, taking up is an action. Carrying is an action. 
It's not a sit down word. Like I can just sit here and say, oh yeah, I got my cross. I got my cross. Oh, thank you, Pastor Martin, for this, this beautiful cross that, 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 that they made personally for me. And we carry this on the corners. I, I can see another cross revival coming. But this time we're going to be out there preaching all up and down Azusa, all up and down Long Beach, all up and down Bellflower, Lakewood, Compton, Linwood. We're about to preach with our crosses because we're going to take a cross and I'm bearing it myself right now because it's an action. My cousin posted something this morning about what's going to happen when this is all over. People going to go right back to the same thing where most, most people worried about getting the people's in that door back in that getting that congregation numbers back up. It's really an opportunity to say, you know what? Now I got y'all out y'all out y'all. Oh my God. Can, can I? Can, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, he, he, really, oh, he was talking to me and I looked up like this. He said, I done got y'all out y'all lazy ways. I done got you out of your 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 uh, 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 re repetitious actions. I've gotten you out of your religion. Yes, I have. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. He got us out of our religional ways. He said, "Now it's time to go ye therefore." Can I flip over just for one second? Ooh, this is good today. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. <laughs> Oh my God, this is good. He says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the what? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things. How many things? I'm running. Teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. My God, you know what? It's time for you. It's time for me. It's time for all of us to join up and go ye therefore and make some disciples. Stop waiting for them to come to us. Ooh, ooh somebody got mad at me on that one. Don't throw at me. Don't throw at me. No, uh -uh, it's time for us to go preach Jesus everywhere to everybody. With your mask on, without your mask on. It is time for us to go to work. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn because I want to be worthy. I want to be worthy. I want to be worthy of it. See, if and he who does not take this cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it. And who he loses his life for my sake will find it. He who receives you receives me. And he who receives me receives him who sent me. Whoever and he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Wait a minute. Did you get that? Did you get that? He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will get what? A prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Now watch this. There's none righteous but Christ. Mm. But now we get the same access to that same reward when we work this thing and when we put it into action. I know, I was, oh, Mr. Charlotte, I know that just, that dropped in it. That was like, oh, wait a minute, did he just say that? See, it's right there before us. But when we agree, we start hearing things from the Holy Ghost. I receive too, Minister Terry. I receive. I receive. And whoever gives one of these little ones only a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, assuredly I say to you, he shall be he shall by no means lose his reward. I'm tired of losing. Really, really. We got to get to a point. You got to get to a point of or enough is enough. You got to get to a point of, of saying, I, you know, uh, no, 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 no. I quit. I'm done. I am. I got to give up. I got to give up. I know a lot of us out there have done this. But in this season right now, it's really time to take up and let's go. If you're a leader out there, big time pastor, small time pastor, any kind of pastor, evangelist, any fivefold ministry, anybody. If you are a 2 Corinthians 5, 17 minister, a minister of reconciliation, I'm really talking to you. 
It's time for us to get together and stop looking at who's the biggest title or who has the number, more followers and who's more, more important and whose name rings louder and who gets the mic first. No, it's time for us to lay it all down right now. And if you know me and if we've ever ministered together, you guys know how I do things. I do it according to God's will. I work hard. I do whatever it takes. I go above and beyond. Yes, yes, I push those around me. I encourage those around me. You know me. You know, you. if you've ever worked with me before, you may. we may not work together now because of the way I do things in order my way. And we say, it worked good then, but now it's time for me to go because I got a different plan and I think it'll work better this way. That's nothing wrong with us having those situations because everything that worked for me don't work for you. But there may be some small things in there that you say, no, I like the way that flowed like a system. I'm going to take that with me. But all that, woo -woo, that's for him. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That's it. We understand how to work one, one on oneness as one church. And still love each other as you're going down the street. And accept what we've accepted and go on about our business and do what we did. But stop. We got to stop beating each other down. We got to stop speaking negative about each other. Period. No, I'm telling you now. I curse my mouth to speak anything negative, even if somebody did me wrong. I bind my speech and my head from having thoughts about anybody, even if they're thinking wrong about me. That ain't my call. They got to answer to God about that. That's not, that's not, that's not on me. I'm, I'm not going to be held accountable to, to that no more. I'm going to be a now believer willing to receive my reward that my reward can be seen for others opportunity to get their reward that they can show it that somebody else can get their reward and then we all are getting our reward and that reward is Christ so remember the number always grows remember he, he first sent out 12 remember and then he took, sent out 70 and now he's sending out the world all of us anyone who believes you are called to go ye therefore, he says, and as you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you have received, freely you give. You can uh, That's in Mark, Matthew 10, uh, back in 7 and 8, same chapter. And you can see right now the, the authority and the power that we have, but we're sitting around like weak, weak. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, no, 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 no. See, God gives us a life to live abundantly. <laughs> See, see, warriors have to learn how to keep up spiritually, mentally, physically for battle at all times. You don't take a rest off. You, you stay ready at all times, in and out of season. But you have to know, have you paid the cost and know that you got to change your direction on some things? You got to understand that everybody in my life is now a part of my life to help grow the life of Christ here on earth. That's why you're in my life, so we can join up to tell somebody about somebody that can do something for you that I never could do and never will be able to do. But you can see what he's done for me, and you can be like, oh, it's possible. Yeah, when is it possible? Now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking, and move in your purpose. I, I, I am, you know, I am constantly grateful for each and every one of you that join in with me Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now Sundays for the Now Church California. Um, if you like the little get up, you can get a Now Church set up or you can get your own personal name, initials on the hat, the, the mask, and a shirt. Um, Get, get at me on the pricing. We're still putting that together. We want to we want to make it as, as as affordable as possible for the three piece set. Uh, and no, it's no, and it's not it's not, not it's not this uh, velvet hat. No, it's not. That would be a, no. This is a personal hat that I've been hiding for a long time. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna put that on there for me because I even made a jacket with the logo on it. I'm gonna wear that Friday with this hat and that jacket and see how that works too. Um, and that was a suit jacket that I have uh, that I have. I looked at it and said, you haven't worn that in a long time. I put it on. It's still a little big. And I understand why I didn't wear it. But I can at least put put the logo on it and wear it for the broadcast. So we're going to do that. But you can definitely get your matching set. <laughs> and these masks ain't going away. You're gonna be. It's going to be a requirement. Uh-huh. 
It's gonna be a requirement. They're they're look. They are on on slim slim. These these aren't even out there no more. I was blessed to to, to uh, yeah. I was blessed. I was blessed. And these ain't even out there no more. I'm trying to flip the ones we have that we can get some more before. Because he's holding a few of them for us. But if we got to flip. We ain't flipping nothing. <laughs> so God's going to make a way up that we can still be able to provide masks uh, for those that can't get them. If you're out of state um, and you don't have a mask, get in touch with me. Let's see what we can do and, and make that happen for you. Yeah, Minister Charlene, let's tighten up. <laughs> Pastor Steve Motley Mass. <laughs> amen, amen. I love you guys. God bless you. God is so good. He is so, so good, so good, so good. I, I thank God that um, he has, he has uh, really blessed me in my life that I could bless you. Amen. Call me on that, Minister Charlene. Uh, and uh, yeah, call me on that. This is a slim... I, I, Everything's closed. So I, what I have in house is what I'm working with right now. I do have black hats here. M Minister Kim Scott, God bless you, my sister. I know you always watch the replays, but it was great to have you here live today. Don't hang up anybody on Facebook. You know I'm going to speak your name and, and, and speak into your life today before we hang up today. Periscope, God bless you guys. I love you. Um, you know that there's no difference on my love for you that I have or for anybody else. It's just the scrolling here to go through name for name is not available. And, um, and if I put it back on, then we always get these other comments that are contrary to here. Facebook respects that the ones that listen know what we're, what we're here for and what we're doing. And, and it's agreement. So we don't get a lot of controversy. Amen. So love you guys. God bless you. Talk to you on Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon on the East Coast for wake up, get up, moving your purpose. But don't forget. Friday night, Good Friday. It is the last seven sayings of Jesus Christ here on the Now Network, the Now Church California. We will be broadcasting live on Zoom. We'll be broadcasting live on Blog Talk Radio. Yes, we're going to make it happen. And we believe it's going to be great. Amen. If you, and, we're, and tonight is a test run for those that are on the network. I'll be sending a text out here in the next hour with the information to download Zoom on your phone or on your device. And it will be probably better for you on your laptop. Um, there's more options of being going to separate rooms and stuff and turning your camera off. You can, and, and, and don't say, well, I don't want to be seen. If you don't want to be seen, you turn your camera off. But we're going to do this on Zoom because we'll have a lot more access for more time. There's only so many hours on Blog Talk. And we want to make that available for our listeners that only have phone access or internet access. But we want to do the Zoom thing that we can continue doing conferences now Thank you, Minister uh, Kim already has Zoom, that we can keep doing uh, the Zoom conferences. And coming in May is the University of Fura, F-U-R-A, Fura, <coughs> familiarity, understanding, re re revelation, and application. We're putting that, that paperwork together right now to get that all, the, the, the admission form, the questionnaire, and the commitment form to this. I'll tell you, I need 10 people at least before we start that course, but it's going to be dynamic. I'm telling you, it's going to be dynamic. We cannot wait. Get ready for that. And then um, um, on this Sunday uh, for the Now Church, the Now uh, um, the Now Church, uh, just set it right there. I'll get it. Okay. Yeah, just set it right there. I'll Okay, thank you. It's in the back. Uh, the post office saying we got a package. Oh, that's the mask. Amen. Amen. Uh, so, so um, Sunday, the Now Church California is live streaming every Sunday. But I'm telling you, the University of Fura is coming in May. May, May, May is the launch. We want to get you in on that. And this is going to give us an opportunity to really use Zoom more efficiently. I'm even getting off my tablet. I'm going to use my laptop where I can do more things. I'm taking some classes today to learn how to pull everything up and to get it going. Amen. Now, for those that are covenant partners and members here, please sow your offering, your seed, your tithes, what God has given you to sow into this ministry. Uh, Minister Terry has put all of our links at the bottom of this page. You can find it there or you can go to our dot, um, 
Our Cash App, which is dollar sign PSTR2K1. You can go to Vimo, which is Pastor E2000, or go on our website. Go on our website at and, and, and the Provoke2000now.com and look at the Covenant Partner link right there. And it will explain about a covenant partner, but it will also explain on how we can uh, uh, link and, 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 and sow one-time offerings right there also. And all of your offerings that have been given, we receive in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank God that, 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 that it is sown, that it is already uh, multiplied back into your life through your, through your spiritual, through your physical, and through your financial ways that you are now a blessed man, woman of God. In Jesus' name, we believe and receive it. It's done. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Talk to you on Friday. God bless you. And we'll talk to you then. Facebook, Minister Terry, what's up, sister? How are you? Fura University. Yeah, not the University of Fura, the Fura University. Minister Shannon, good morning, woman of God. Minister Charlene, good morning. Minister Kim, good morning. How are you? Minister Curtis, what up? what's up, my brother? Prophetess Lori, how are you, woman of God? Mr. Kim Scott, good morning. Minister Taki, how are you, Yolanda? What's up, woman of God? I've been seeing your videos. Y'all clowning. Minister Diana Briscoe Ham Hamlin, good morning. Welcome to this network. God bless you. And I know, I know somebody out there said, well, I watched you before. If I haven't seen your name on the list in here in comments, that, but I'm telling you, I don't miss a name. If I see you on there, I know you've been here before. So that's why I, I call your name now. Deacon Roy Val and, and Prophetess Shakina Val. How are you guys doing? Woman evangelist uh, Shakina, uh, just woman of God, uh, Shakina Val. How are you guys doing? God bless you. Wanna, I want to give you a call and see if you're available to come on. Um, Let's talk Jesus. We can do it virtual. Uh, Minister Ruckus Williams. Good morning, man of God. What's up, my brother? Love what you're doing out there, bro. Minister Olivia Thompson Green. Good morning. Minister Carolyn Brown. Good morning. Minister Raymond Neal. Good morning. Hope I said that correctly. Minister Barbara Coates. Good morning. Minister Stephen G. Lynch. What's up, Stephen? How you doing, brother? Minister Alfonso Stevens. What's up, Al? How you doing, bro? I pray your family is doing great. God bless you. Minister Debbie Perez, good morning. Minister Andrew Bogany, my brother out of Houston, Texas. What's up, fam? How you doing? Love you, man. Minister Carmen Mosley Quinn, good morning, family. God bless you. 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 And join us tonight for A Living Word with Pastor Brenda Spann. Awesome Word of God comes on at 6 p.m. And then after that, I'm going to send out that list for us to do our Zoom check-in tonight uh, around 7 o'clock my time. Amen. Love you guys. Talk to you then. Have a blessed day. Stay safe.